Hey ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Thank you for tuning in and in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at a fragrance by the company The Gate and this one is called Melibona so stay tuned. Now this fragrance was released in 2015. We don't have a perfumer for this one, but the first thing that caught my attention about this one is the blend of notes. It has like black currant, it has coffee, vanilla, and I thought to myself, this is going to be a gourmand lover's dream. So I'm really excited to talk to you guys about this one. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the presentation. So here on the box, you have a gold plate on the front that says the name of the fragrance on it. You have the Gate Fragrances logo at the top. It opens up to reveal this podium in which the bottle rests. Pretty cool presentation if you ask me. And here's the bottle. What I like about it is that it looks opaque, but there's a, a certain level of transparency to it where you kind of uh, are able to see how much liquid is left inside. I really like that about these bottles. Uh, this is actually attached to the front here. It's not printed on there. It's a separate sheet of uh, gold. I don't even know what it is. Uh, sticker at the bottom with your information. The cap does not click into place. The atomizer on this one works really, really well. And let's go ahead and continue with the smell. Now, when you first spray this on, there's this warmth about it. Now, it has the fruity nuances in there. Like I said, the black currant. It also has some florals in there as well. But there's also a little bit of vanilla. It has like a chocolatey vibe. And there's also a little bit of a coffee note in there as well. Now, the coffee note isn't too strong that it makes it smell like a freshly brewed pot of coffee. And the vanilla note is also not that strong that it smells overly gourmand or anything like that. It's perfect. It's feminine. But it has a robust character about it. It's not fragile or ethereal. It's not light. It's one of these fragrances that if you do wear it in public, it will get you noticed. And for that reason, I think it's one of the better offerings on the women's side from the company The Gate Paris. Now, look, I haven't tried them all, but of the ones that I have tried, and I do own a bunch of them, I have First Sight, uh, I've tried Oriental Diamond, I own Snowflakes, I've tried about 10 of them. And this one for women, I think is their best offering. Now, I am going to make a comparison. When you take a look at the note breakdown, you'll see that there is a stark similarity between the two. Melipona does smell similar to Yves Saint Laurent's Black Opium. If you're a fan of Black Opium, which is also a fairly new release, I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised by this one. I actually did a video on Black Opium with my good friend Carlos. I'm going to leave a link to that up here, so make sure to check that out. But I love that scent. And for a woman, I think it's a great scent for the fall and the winter. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be wearing this one anytime soon. Neither will my wife. We're probably going to wait until the fall because that's really when this fragrance is going to shine. And if you guys have any experience with the Gate fragrances, you know that this stuff lasts for an astronomically long time. My wife really likes this one too. So let's go ahead and finish the review off by taking a closer look at my assessment. Now, if we're going to take a look at the uniqueness, it's not a unique scent in the sense that it does remind me of other fragrances like Black Opium by Yves Saint Laurent. That doesn't change the fact that it's a really great scent. It's a pleasant scent and dare I even say it lasts longer than Black Opium by Yves Saint Laurent, which brings us into the longevity. Longevity on this one is fantastic. You're going to get about 10 plus hours, which is uh, not something that I ever questioned from any fragrance that comes from this company. They all do remarkably well. Projection is really good for the first two to three hours, and then it does sit closer to the skin. I want to say it becomes a skin scent at the seventh hour of application. By that point, it's gotten you through the work week, so this is no slouch in the performance department. Versatility on this one is compromised a bit just because I think there is something about it that's quite feminine. I wear it. I would wear it. I would even recommend it to guys who are looking for something on the floral side but not uh, in a Dior own vibe. Um, I do think that this one would work best in the colder weather, so I wouldn't recommend this for the dead of summer. And I think this is one that I would wear dressed up a little bit. I wouldn't wear it casually, especially for the price tag. Now, the cool thing about the Gate fragrances, and I'm going to leave all the links down below if you're interested in checking it out. The cool thing about this company is that they offer a wide assortment of sizes. Like, I think you can get a 10 ml if you want, a 20 ml if you want. You can get the little travel sprays. It's really cool. So, if you want a sample of fragrance without necessarily spending a $160 or $170, whatever it is, for the big size bottle, you can buy the small one and still get the general gist of how it smells. Presentation on this one is really cool. Actually, like the other Gate Fragrances presentation, the one that opens up in the middle like a gate, uh, this one does have the nice little podium in here. And what I like about it is that the bottle doesn't stop here. 
it actually goes all the way down. So you can do this and you don't have to fear it falling out. So uh, Tom Ford Private Blends could probably learn something from this. But uh, anyways, I think it's a gorgeous presentation. Listen, if I had to give it an overall assessment, I love this fragrance, but it's not one of my favorites. I do love it though. I think it's a great scent, especially if I want that black opium vibe, but I want it to last a little bit longer. I'm gonna go for this one. The downfall to this one is unfortunately the price tag, but the pros are that you can get uh, a wide variety of different sizes, so you don't have to break the bank to sample this fragrance. And uh, as strongly as it performs, this is one of those scents where you know you don't need a lot and it's gonna carry you uh, for a long time. So all in all, I love this scent. I would highly recommend you check it out. I'm gonna leave all the links once again down below to where you can purchase it. And lastly, I just wanna thank you all very much for tuning in. It really means a lot to me. Thank you for your constant support. It means the world. So don't forget to subscribe for future videos and remember to enable notifications by clicking on the bell. This way you never miss any of my future content. So thank you once again for watching and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care.